those of you who saw my last video, the dancing worked. This is going to be a very short little tutorial. I'm going to show you a command here that gives you a little more information on what distro you're running and what version it is. Currently, I know I'm running Linux Mint. I know that the version I'm running is a few versions behind. But off the top of my head, I can't remember what version it is. Obviously, you can go into the GUI interface and find that out. But let's say I wanted to write a script that checked what version it was, or I just want to run it from the command line. Um, there's a program uh, that you can run called lsb underscore release and it will give you information on your release um, but we're also going to use here uh, the dash B option I believe it was no what was uh, a dash a option looking at my notes here I don't know why I thought it was B so we run that and uh, it tells you to distribute your ID I'm running Linux Mint the description it's Linux Mint 11 uh, it tells me the release number here and the code name for that if your distribution has a code name, which most do. So, real short tutorial here. Obviously, if you want to know more about this command, you can run the man to get the manual on that. So man in the name of uh, the program, and you can find out a little bit more, uh, such as like when we did uh, dash A here, it displayed all the information uh, on this distribution. So if I just wanted, let's say the code name, I could run that instead. Oops, what did I just do? Okay, up to 20. There we go. Change that to R. So LSB underscore uh, release dash R. And now we got the release name. And of course, you can, or the release number. Uh, code name, I think, was C. So if I wanted the code name, I could always take that and then, you know, use cut or something and cut with a delimiter uh, of, if I could type today, uh, that field 2. I've gone over the cut command many, many times. I use it all the time in my scripts. Uh, so there we go. We have that. Um, and obviously you can do other things to remove the spaces in there. The spaces right here, if or the tab it looks like right there. But if you just want your code name, you could do that. So look at the man file, play with lsb underscore release and uh, find out what release you're running. This is a great thing if for some reason you wanted to write a script that did something different depending on what uh, distribution you're using. Uh, you can have it check that way. And uh, this seems to have been installed on my distribution by default. So go ahead, check yours. If not, you know, check the repositories. But I, I think this is fairly commonly installed. So I thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description as well as a link to my Facebook fan page where you can find out... Uh, uh, get other updates on Linux and other open source projects. I try to post things there regularly. Um, also, uh, you know, if you enjoy my videos and want to help support my site, keep it going. Uh, on my website, there is a donate button. I thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.